So, we're here in the kitchen Sunday afternoon with my daughters Jane and Ellie. Jane, how old are you? Nine. Nine, how old are you? Six. Six. And they're going to help me make a new recipe that I found a few weeks ago. It's actually not a new recipe. It's an old recipe. Um, I'm guessing it came, was developed by some housewife, some homemaker in the 50s or 60s based on the ingredients. It comes out of this little book that I found at a local secondhand store called A Taste of Heaven. Um, it, it, it's a church congregation cookbook and based on the the front page it's this was written in 1995 or something but I'm guessing this recipe is a lot older um, and I just had to make it because it is so weird here let, let me let me show you I, I opened up the recipe book to the main dishes section and I kid you not this is the title applesauce meat bake applesauce meat bake that's what we're making so here we go making applesauce meat bake it's pretty simple what we do is we're going to take two cups of applesauce the recipe says sweetened applesauce but we're going to be putting sugar additional sugar into this and applesauce is sweet enough as it is i couldn't imagine using sweetened applesauce so this is just unsweetened applesauce. Okay, just a little bit of drama. Two cups of unsweetened applesauce about. Okay, there we go. Then we need a cup of brown, oh, excuse me, a quarter cup of brown sugar. You want to put that in? Okay, there we go. And then the onion. Why don't you put the onion in? A quarter cup of onion chopped up. There we go. And then it says an option is to add some vinegar. Now, because this is so sweet, um, I'm going to put the vinegar in. I think it's going to be necessary. I'm just using apple cider vinegar. I, I guess you could use whatever you want. It doesn't say what to use. It just says vinegar. You want to put that in? Okay, there we go. The vinegar. And that is the beginning of our applesauce meat bake. We're just going to mix that up. I want to mix it. And i got to get that sugar to break up a bit. There we go. We just mix that up. Yeah, you can tell that the kids are going to love this. Yeah. If the um, vinegar smell, it makes it look disgusting. Does the vinegar smell too strong for you? No, just vinegar is like, You just don't like vinegar, huh? I don't like vinegar. <laughs> Any kinds of vinegar? Okay. Well, I think that's yeah, pretty I'm well mixed good. up there. I'm Still a few. It. You want to mix it? Give it a stir. Okay, let each of the kids... Applesauce. Mix their uh, applesauce, onions, sugar, and vinegar. Ooh, yummer. Okay, now let, let Ellie so take excited. a stir. Okay, there we go. Okay, nothing like applesauce and raw onions, right? It's raw. Oh, it's raw right. onion, yeah. Raw. Okay, so then we take, it says a 10 by 6 pan. This is the closest I have. It's actually like a 9.5 by 7, but uh, roughly the right size. And it goes in, in the pan, just like that. Can I? Okay, and we're just gonna smooth that out. Now, here we we've introduced the applesauce part of the applesauce meat bake. Now we have to figure out what's the meat. Well, the meat just happens to be not coming out of the can. So I've got to. Uh, is it spam? Yes, no. it's spam. We're gonna see if I can get this off. Wait, it's actually it. spam. Yeah, it's actually spam. <laughs> What's spam? See. Now the recipe here again calls for um, calls for uh, light spam, but uh, of course you have to use the heavy spam. <laughs> I'm just gonna use regular old spam because it's people, gross enough as it is. People have tried so, to eat get this the display, spam out. and they almost puked. You think so? There we go. Oh, there we go. Spam. Spam, 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 spam. It is spiced ham is what it means, but it's uh, it's got this lovely jelly on it. 
Ew. Lovely. This is why I think it's from the 50s and 60s, maybe even the 40s. I don't know, because Spam was something that I know families uh, used yeah. in that time period, war, uh, war and immediately post-war time period. We're supposed to cut this into six or eight slices. I'm going to go, I think I could probably fit six in this little pan. So I'm just going to go eyeball this. Here we go. There's one oh. slice. <laughs> One Two slice, slice. three slices, three slices. Four, four slices, slices. What is, the, is the jelly like five jello? slices? Yeah, it's gelatin. So now we don't just plop it on. No, we have to add an extra layer of flavor. A breadcrumb. Oh, no. We're supposed to take prepared no, mustard. We're not gonna have mustard. Shh, shh. You won't be able to hear anything. There's too much noise. It's like. The rest of my life with my kids is just too noisy. Um, we'll see. Um, we're supposed to use prepared mustard. It doesn't say what type of prepared mustard. I'm assuming they meant yellow French's mustard. Um, but I lived in Sweden for a few years and I really fell in love with Swedish prepared mustard, which you can get in Ikea. So that's what I'm going to use. And we're supposed to spread it. Let me just say it says, uh, and lightly spread mustard on each piece. So I'm going to just squirt a little bit of mustard on each piece. Ooh, can I spread it around? And then I'll get a, a knife. Can I, here, can squeeze I spread it around? Got to squeeze in here, sweetie. Can I spread some around? I'm just going to grab a knife. There we go. Yeah, can we do sure, I'll do, I'll do two and everybody will do two, okay? Okay. So there we go. Why? We spread <laughs> that. Or, it, it keep your feet down. Okay, so here we go, and we're gonna put that uh, in there. Okay, who you want to go there now? Sure. Okay, spread, spread Super those. Excited. Okay, that's good. Let's take this one and put it in. Okay, here. I'll, you do you want to spread it or just here? I'll, I'll I'll let you just put it in there. There, that spread. Okay, you put it in. So here we go. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to wipe my fingers here. Now we're going to make a crispy, crunchy topping to uh, go with our lovely applesauce meat bake. Here. What I have to do is I have to get some butter. And we got some butter right here. And we're going to melt this butter very quickly. One tablespoon of butter. Let me see. I think that's yeah. One tablespoon of butter. Ooh, yeah, I probably should use a different knife. You know, I'm not a professional cook. There we go. One tablespoon of butter, and we'll put that back in the freezer in the fridge just a bit. Okay. Oh, gross. Okay. Um, one tablespoon of butter, and I'm going to melt this very quickly. that in there. There we go. We're just going to throw this in the microwave, zap it for maybe 20 seconds, melt the butter. In the meantime, we're supposed to then have one cup of breadcrumbs. I don't have normal breadcrumbs. I have panko breadcrumbs, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use panko breadcrumbs, and then we're also st supposed to mix in some chopped garlic. And you're getting a glimpse of our not too organized refrigerator. Okay. Okay, so there's our melted butter. And we're supposed to put in one clove of chopped garlic. I'm just going to use this bucket of pre chopped garlic. I know, yeah, it doesn't taste as good. Yada, 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 whatever. This is easier. And I don't want to chop garlic. So put in about that much. Garlic is stinky. Garlic is stinky, isn't it? But it's good stinky. It's so good stinky. It's like a sour stinky. Okay, so I'll mix that up, and then we're supposed to add in one cup of breadcrumbs. So I'll just use the measure, the measuring lines on this measuring cup. That's about 
I want one to cup. Oh, can I try and mix it? And we're just gonna, we're just, just gonna mix can this on. You want to mix? Both you girls take a mix. I Be careful. It. It I don't want like it to spill. Seeds a bit. Yeah, they kind of look like sesame seeds, don't they? Okay, good mixing. Let's let Jane mix in some of that butter and garlic. Done, done, done. Mix that in. It yeah. actually doesn't smell too bad. No, it smells good. It's like garlic bread, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Really so then we take this. Mm -hmm. and I'll just yeah, give it one more final stir. Get it all mixed up. And this goes, it says, arrange, uh, add garlic to the top, sprinkle over meat. So we're going to just. I'm can just I gonna try? be pretty liberal here because we've got quite can a bit. Can I try? Here. Dad, can I try? <laughs> Sprinkle. Daddy, can I try? Just pushing Daddy, that over. Can I try? Here. See. Yeah, okay, fine. Wait, Grab some. Oh. Put it in there. There we go. Good sprinklage. That is some definitely some good six year old sprinkling. Okay. And that's it. Our applesauce meat bake is ready to go into the oven, 400 oh degrees Wait, for 15 minutes. So we'll put it in here and see you in a second. Okay, we're back, and it's been 15 minutes. Got to get the uh, this interesting dish out of the oven, and we're gonna taste it. Yep, and it's gonna be very gross. Okay. No, here, I'll get. I'll give you a close-up shot. It browned up nicely. It doesn't slosh around too much in the casserole dish. It, it, it yeah. kind of looks like potato. Yeah, it kind of looks like a potato casserole, doesn't it? Because of all that crunchy <laughs> bread crumbs on the top. Yeah. Okay. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can find. Nice piece. <laughs> Nothing like pale processed meat loaf and warm applesauce. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Okay, El Janie. Like this? Give me your plate. applesauce go together. I'm sure that was kind of one of the inspirations is people didn't have pork. It kind of smells like pizza. And so they thought, well, I've got spam. Spam pork and applesauce. Spam and applesauce. Let's see if it works. It kind of smells like homemade pizza. Canadian bacon pizza. I gotta get her to a doctor and have her sniffer smell because that sniff. Well, like far away. Her sniffer check. Like this does not taste like or smell. Like pizza. But from far okay. away, it kind of does. Does it? Okay. Yeah. I trust you. Okay. It's like Canadian bacon pizza. Well, okay. I, yeah, it's got that uh, kind of meaty smell. Okay, it's a. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm a little concerned that the onions are looks, not really cooked after just 15 minutes. Um, it looks fine, but. But we'll, we'll try it here. Me. After this, I'm going to puke. Okay. It's actually really good without any applesauce. Bottoms up. Oh. That is surprisingly really salty. It's probably just Ugh. the spam. If you like spam, it's not bad. Um, I, I would probably it. have cooked it at a lower temperature longer so I that don't the. Like it. I don't applesauce like it. would actually get a little bit warmer. I don't um, like it with applesauce. That's the only But, it. you know, it, it's... It's disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's probably not going to be your kid's first choice. It's good. But... Without with applesauce, at least. If I had this and then just plain Spam, I would choose this. It makes Spam... I mean, it tastes like Spam and applesauce. What can I say? <laughs> So, I'm gonna get a cup of water. If you ever want to uh, try something truly, truly mid-century, 
Try the applesauce meat bake.